Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the bell, subscribe. We have new content coming out daily. Make sure you subscribe. God bless you guys. Donald Trump said, no, I actually didn't want to go to war with Iran. Play cut 28. Well, with Milley, uh, let me see that. I'll show you an example. He said that I wanted to attack Iran. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look, this was him. They presented me this. This is off the record, but they presented me this. This was him. This was the Defense Department and him. All sorts of stuff. It's pages long. Look, this totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential, yeah. secret. <laughs> this is secret information. But look, look at this. You attack. And Hillary would print that out all the time. You know. <laughs> send it, email. No, she'd send it to yeah. Anthony Weiner. Yeah, yeah. The pervert. So, Senator Hawley, what you have here is showing that Donald Trump was pushing back against the military industrial complex. I believe you were a senator at the time. Let's go back. There was all this clamoring after, you know, going after, I think it was Kasamani, and this kind of brewing tension with Iran. I'm glad we did not go to war with Iran. That would be detrimental to the country. Soleimani, yes. And so, so Senator, talk about how the, I think there's another motive here, which is to go after Donald Trump because he has heterodox foreign policy. Your thoughts, Senator? Well, I, I think that there's no doubt that the, the establishment wants Trump eliminated because he is currently the leader of the conservative movement. He's the leader of the Republican Party. This administration wants him gone because he's Joe Biden's most formidable opponent, and he's going to be the nominee. I mean, I, I just think it's as simple as that, Charlie. It's all politics. On the right, you have a strong contingent of people, many of them in Congress, who, of course, hate Donald Trump, and they may pay lip service to him in public, but they hate him. They hate the fact that the voters chose him twice as the Republican nominee, probably going to choose him again a third time. They hate that fact. And one of the reasons they, they hate him is they're globalists and he's not. And they just they hate that. You know, he's he's a nationalist. And you can agree or disagree with particular decisions he made. But there's no denying the fact that Trump is not a globalist. And I think that many, many establishment Republicans detest that about him and they want him gone. So I think it's all politics. What you're seeing with this DOJ and Trump is all politics. It's Joe Biden trying to get rid of his opponent. I don't see Joe Biden, who had thousands of classified documents. Where's the indictment against him? How about Hunter Biden? I mean, nothing. So it's, it's mm -hmm. a joke. It's, it's all political and everybody can see that.